ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole future and Eliza Rain situation, honey. Like I told y'all weeks ago, they are an official Dragon Ball T-Series on this channel, okay? Because this saga is just going to keep continuing and continuing until Eliza Rain gets her damn money. So what's going down now is this. Future, a.k.a. that's not my baby, I refuse to take a DNA test, is now basically stating in court documents that he should not have to pay any child support or look out for this child because the baby is a check baby and that basically Eliza Rain schemed to get pregnant by him him and basically get him for his money and that if he is forced to pay he should pay no more than 450 a month i'm going to go ahead and read to you guys some of these documents go ahead and check this out so this is what TMZ is reporting. They're saying that Future says his alleged baby mama is treating her baby girl like an ATM to squeeze money out of him. He even claims that she's given the child a nickname, Check Baby. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, rapper claims Eliza Seffron has referred to the nine-month-old little girl by that phrase. Future's lawyers define the term as slang terminology, describing a child conceived solely for the purposes of extorting monies from the father of a child in a child support setting. Translation, Future claims that Eliza Rain got knocked up and got money out of him. To be honest, he's made this claim before, and even Eliza cops to it. In the docs, the rapper claims one of his friends, allegedly during an online interview, Eliza has gone as far as researching the amount of child support Future paid to his other baby's mamas, just to see what she could get out of him. What's more is that Future claims that the friend also said Eliza started taking fertility pills to increase her chances of getting impregnated by Future. He says that the kid only needs four fifty dollars per month a number he based on his financial affidavit. Eliza filed in court detailing her monthly expenses. Anything above that is just a money grab in Future's eyes. To this date, Future has never claimed paternity of Eliza's baby. He's even asked Broward County Judge to toss her... <laughs> He's even asked the Broward County Judge to toss the case out against him. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. This man refuses to take a DNA test. They went and did a reverse DNA test. You know, the, the baby mamas, they connected like Voltron and tested all their kids to see if their kids were sibling. And the kids were all siblings. So this is definitely Future's child. He doesn't want to acknowledge it. And I find that very, very interesting. He treats this baby's mother and that last baby's mother, he definitely treats them with a lot of contempt because he doesn't have that same energy for Joy uh, Chavez. He seems to really love that child and embrace that child. You see that child with Future every now and then but the last two kids future's not having it and this goes back to what i was saying months ago and people took offense to it not that i cared but when i was talking about the whole situation with keith sweat and his children and how he felt some type of way about his daughter because of how she was conceived he said that you know the baby's mother i don't know poked a hole in the condom got pregnant on purpose and all this other stuff and that's why he feels like that bond was not there with that child. Now, does that make it right? Absolutely not. But this is why I say that women need to be selective and be very careful with who they choose to have children with. Because even though it's not right, you have men who play games like that. You have men who will only deal with that child or be close to that child depending on how they were conceived. If they were in a relationship or he really liked the mother, he will deal with that child accordingly. If he feels like it was a setup, the mother set him up and is trying to get him for his money or his fame and his status, he might just cut a check every month in child support, but he doesn't want to have anything to do with that child. And I feel like that is the case with Future, and I don't feel bad for Future at all. Because, again, this is the same man who named himself Future, but for some reason has a very, very foggy, hazy look when it comes to looking into the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should know when somebody's not really for you. See, this was supposed to just be a smash session for him. But instead of him taking personal responsibility and saying, in the future, I don't want her to carry my baby future, okay? So instead of him looking at it like that, he didn't. He chose to raw dog her and he got her pregnant. I don't care if she was swallowing all types of fertility pills, if she had a damn chicken foot in her purse. I don't care. At the end of the day, you have to take personal responsibility for knocking her up. And, you know, she's even admitted that she was raw dogging future. So obviously he wasn't using any condoms. And she knew he was sleeping with other people. Out of all these kids who were literally born in one year of the future, they're lucky that the only thing that these women got out of this was a baby. 
because it could have been HIV, it could have been, you know, herpes, it could have been gonorrhea, it could have been a lot of stuff. And it's really sad that, you know, people have this mentality that just anything goes because he's a celebrity. My thing is, who cares about the bag when the father doesn't want to be there for the child? I think that's the sad part. You know, so many times people sit here and promote like it's cool to get pregnant by a rapper or an athlete because of the bag. Like I always say, who ends up suffering in the end? It's not her. She don't care. She's getting fame off of this. She's getting attention for being one of Future's baby's mothers. He doesn't care. He's living his best life. The person who's hurting all this is that innocent child who didn't ask to be here. She didn't ask for Future to be her father. Damn, she didn't ask for the mother to be her mother. But they chose as two adults to have consensual sex and create a child. So at this point in time, Future, regardless if you like her or not, that is your child. The DNA test confirmed it, okay? And you need to step up and take care of that child. Period. And him, you know, trying to pay four fifty a month is ridiculous because we all know Future has money. If you can sit here and take your new girlfriend, Lori Harvey, on all types of lavish trips, including paying for her friends to come on lavish trips. If you can sit here and spend all types of money on roses and, you know, scatter them all over the floor. make it look real you know sweet on valentine's day for your new girlfriend you can definitely pay more than 450 a month in child support so fusion needs to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up with this backstory i don't care what pill she was taking i don't care she was poking holes in the condom at the end of the day you knew the type of woman she was you did not care you was trying to get one off and you getting one off has now cost you an 18 year headache and an 18 year fight not because of that child, but because of the child's mother. So I don't feel bad for Future, and I damn sure don't feel bad for her, okay? She's getting everything that she put out there. She went trying to chase the bag, and now she's out here looking like a damn joke. So they, the two of them, to me, in my personal opinion, they deserve each other. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Future and Eliza Rain, going back and forth on social media, and Future basically now filing court documents stating that this was a setup. You know, Eliza Rain got pregnant for a check baby, so he feels like he shouldn't really have to pay any child support. But, you know, in the event this is his child, you know, he's willing to pay four fifty. dollars Meanwhile, he's spending all this money lavishly on his new girlfriend. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. All right. Deuces. Deuces.